Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, it's exhaust time on the 77 C10. So today we're gonna to pull this thing out. This is your part two video. So it'll be two separate reviews, but two parts to the video. We did brand new Patriot uh, headers on this thing. And we are trying out a set of Flowmaster. This is their, uh, their hush power mufflers because we're trying to quieten this thing down a bit. So, 125, and there was two different options. There was an aggressive sound, and this is the, the quiet performer. So this is the moderate sound. And we're going with two and a half inch tubing. So let's pull this thing in the shop. Oh yeah, we definitely need to quieten that down. <laughs> All right, let's get some parts out. So I picked up some 10 foot length of two and a half inch tubing from Lordco. Lordco is kind of our main part store up here. And we got a bunch of 90 degree bends, a bunch of exhaust clamps. And uh, it turns out I already have all the rear section already bent that I cut off my Jimmy and don't need. So. That's going to make life a little easier for us. This is not a difficult exhaust system. There's hardly, there's very few bends in this thing you've got to deal with. And that's why I chose these mufflers. They're going to make life really easy for mounting. So let's get this thing jacked up. So this is advertised as the quiet performer and just the actual size of this thing makes me very nervous that it's not going to be quiet but when i look at them online they have these cone shaped baffles on each side facing each other one on each end facing inwards and they look really cool inside when you look them up online i highly recommend it and uh, i'm really hoping this works out to be uh, what their advertising is saying so we got the truck all jacked up Got the left side all laid out. Just have to do the right side and then tack it all together and weld it all up. So this is Friday. We'll finish this one on Monday. I'm late on my videos as usual, but this thing is scheduled for tuning Monday afternoon. So we have to have it done Monday. So Monday afternoon, I guess I'm test driving this thing. Yeehaw. And so we took some of these 90 degree bends that I ordered in and if you just find the right spot where you want to cut it and literally turn it around a full 180 you can make a little bend like that without using a tube bender and then we ran it straight up there and then it runs right out the back behind the tire um flow master this is your last chance you're about to get booted out of my shop if these things are loud So the point of this video is not how to build an exhaust system because we're not claiming to be experts on that. We don't have the equipment normally to do that. This was just an easier system for us to do. There's the bend right there. But I said Flowmaster is getting the boot if they're too loud. Well, guess what? They're way too loud, but they sound really awesome. And plug the mic here. That idle, nice and lumpy. It's 
the dilemma. You ready? Holy crap, that's loud. So that didn't work out the way planned, but I don't hate them. They actually sound unbelievable to the point where I think I want them on my Jimmy. Flowmaster, you almost got the boot, but those things sound just awesome. Let's just call that some false advertising now. The quiet performer, not even close. But we gotta take this thing for a rip. So Doug's coming over, do a tune this afternoon. And uh, then we'll uh, drive this thing and see what it's like in the cab. Cause I definitely think we need to experience it. We still have to quieten this thing down. That's not what the customer wants. But I got a game plan. I might swap the mufflers on my Jimmy for this one. I have the Super 40s on there. And that's something I'm gonna point out. Let's pull up the scale right now off of Flowmaster's website. So on the far left of that chart, the very loudest muffler is the Super 10 series, which I put on the 94 Mustang GT. It just had a few bolt-ons, cold air intake, uh, throttle body upgrade. And uh, it had an H-pipe into a set of Super 10s. Not near as loud as their website stated. I thought they were gonna be way louder, not even close to what I was looking for. Then I uh, also tried the Super 40s, which are the next ones in line on the very, very far left in the graph. Super 40s are on my Jimmy with a big block in front of it. Rollerized, 400 horse or so. And still was not the sound I was looking for. They're supposed to be super loud. I was looking for that aggressive lumpiness. Still not what I was looking for. These mufflers, are actually around the halfway mark to the, a little more to the right. They're calling them moderate sound. They are the loudest mufflers I have ever actually heard on a vehicle. I mean, they're, they're just ridiculously loud. So um, if you guys are looking at a Flowmaster chart, their chart means nothing. So that's disappointing. It means I'm spending money the wrong way based on their advertising. Flowmaster, you need to work on that. But I do like these mufflers that I put on this thing. So, we will have to take this for a spin, but we may now be doing a comparison if I'm swapping mufflers between small block and big block on both the Super 40s and their Hush Power HP2, whatever you want to call these things. So that's, uh, I guess, a video I have to put together in the next weeks if we're uh, swapping these mufflers. Time to go for a quick spin up and down the runway. Well, not the runway, the taxiway. Just make sure everything's good before taking it out on the road. Now you can hear it outside actually. Well, it's not echoing the shop. It's definitely better outside.
I'm surprised. It took away the droniness. You know, I read tons of reviews on this and I only saw a few guys say they were unhappy with them. A few guys said it got rid of the droniness in their uh, vehicle. take this thing for another test spin now take it around my little test road that's got all the corners and straightaways and see if this thing can handle the heat because it's really hot today we have massive amounts of smoke from the forest fire and I want to see how this thing runs in the hot weather because it had a bunch of issues overheating all the time not sure uh, what the problem is Let's go for a little spin in the heat and see what it's like. Sure has an awesome idle. Boy, I'm liking these mufflers more and more for myself, but I really don't think the customer's gonna like these. Sneak around this jet here.
It's running a little bit lean right now, but uh, we're doing a valve adjustment this afternoon and then we'll see where it's at. After that, I'll probably drive it home for a couple days and put some miles on it. just a quick brake stand just to get the tires burning and then I let off and was able to easily pedal the throttle and burn the tires for over 200 feet could probably could have gone more if I wanted to play with the throttle some more it is 34 degrees Celsius outside which is 93 degrees Fahrenheit and we were having heat issues in this truck and now it's got no more heat issues it has enough power to actually smoke the tires when it's hot out I really think that's all that he requires out of this thing. It's way more power than he actually wanted. I just don't know about the sound. Flowmaster, you're still hanging in there because I love these mufflers. They just are, uh, I'm calling them false advertising on your website. So just so you guys know what they're like, I want to do a video and you'll see a lot more of these as we go. So now uh, we're going to do adjust the valves on this thing and then... Uh, I gotta drive it for a few days so you guys will see more of this truck over the next week putting some miles on it thank you for watching and i hope you subscribe